Average velocity and instantaneous velocity. Two things that sound similar, but they definitely have their differences. In this video, I'm gonna explain the difference between those two things, both from a upper level understanding and also kind of the difference in process of how to find those two things. Now, keep in mind, these same concepts can be applied to more generally instantaneous rate of change and average rate of change. The comparison between those things is exactly the same, as well as the method of how to find them. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and I'll explain the important differences that you want to keep in mind as you think about instantaneous versus average velocity or rate of change. Average velocity is always going to be talking about the, the, well, I mean, I guess it's in the, in the name, but the average velocity or the average speed that an object is moving over a period of time. So that's a very important distinction. Average velocity is gonna be referring to the average over a given duration of time. So you can see in this case here, we've been given these five different time intervals. We wanna find the average velocity from one second to two seconds. If we were to measure basically where the rock was at one second, where it is at two seconds, and then find the average velocity between those two measurement points. Same thing here, the average velocity from one second to one and a half seconds, one second to 1.1 second. So there's no like kind of rule or restriction on how long the intervals have to be. You can see in this case, actually, the intervals are getting smaller and smaller. We have a, a one second interval, a half a second interval, a 0.1 second interval, 0 0.01 second, 0 0.001 second. So they can be however short or long you want them to be, but average velocity should always be found over an interval of time. There's always gonna be two time data points that you wanna consider the beginning and the end of this time interval and you're, average, you're trying to average out the speed or the velocity that your object is traveling throughout that time period, okay? Instantaneous velocity is a bit different. Instantaneous velocity is not going to look at the velocity over a period of time, it's going to look at how fast is something moving at one specific split second. Instantaneous means at this one point in time, how fast is the object moving? So instantaneous velocity, you can see in part B here, it does ask about instantaneous velocity. It's asking what, well, we're gonna estimate it using this average velocity, but what it's getting at is for us to figure out what is the instantaneous velocity at t equals one. So notice the difference. In part A, we're being given two time points, one second and two second, an interval of time to find the average velocity over. Whereas in part B, we're being asked to find the instantaneous velocity at one specific time point. So that's a, a very important difference between instantaneous velocity and average velocity. Average, you're gonna be given two input numbers or two, in this case, the input is time. So two time numbers to look at. And with instantaneous velocity or instantaneous speed, you're gonna be given just one. So there's just gonna be one input number that you're looking at, what's the speed or velocity at that specific point in time. So key difference there. So now that you understand the difference between average velocity and instantaneous velocity, let's get into the details of how you actually find average velocity over given intervals with an example right over there. So trust me, you're gonna to wanna to take what we talked about in this video a step further and learn how to do actual problems with that new knowledge. So just go click that video and let's do it. 